Michelle May and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. I'm going Costco shopping, it's Friday night, it's 4.51pm and, and the sun is setting and it's a beautiful evening, it's been a beautiful day after a really horrible week of weather. And so I'm off to Costco because I need to get out of the house. We're, on lock, we're in lockdown as you know and I just need to get out and we also need food. And I think I just told you in my last video I had to go and get food and I was just tossing up between Aldi and Costco and I've decided Costco and probably Aldi because it's right next door. But I'm just going to go and get a small haul. I, I always say that and end up with heaps because we need heaps but my husband said just be quick because otherwise it's such a big job for you and I know it is so he said just grab a few things and then come home so because it is quite ambitious to be coming out on a Friday night to do a grocery haul but I just I just felt it I just felt that's what I wanted to do so yes I'm masking up in a minute and getting in there to do a grocery haul I'm not sure if I'll do a shop with me I'm not sure I'll see I'll see what the vibe is I'll see how many people are there I'll see I'll see I'll see so if you want to see this a Costco shop with me and haul, then let's do this. Okay, and we are home. And I never thought I'd say it in my life, but that was so relaxing. So in front of you here is my Costco haul. I also got on the way home, I jumped in, jumped in, I dived into Aldi for a few things and they were having this huge American um, sweets and treats and snacks sale. So things that we don't normally see here in Australia. So I bought up a whole bunch of things and I'll do a separate haul on that just to show you what I got and I'll just concentrate on this Costco. This is like a weekly shop for us. It was about, I think it was 400 and something dollars. It was so much easier just to do a, a weekly shop. It was quicker, it was easy, the trolley was just full enough. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this because it's just been so much easier than what I normally do, which is sort of more a two week or fortnightly sort of haul at Costco. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Okay, so what did I get? So I got baby spinach. I got this punnet of strawberries. It's a really big punnet of strawberries. It was really expensive, but we just need some sort of it was really expensive. It was, I think it was $13. But we're just craving strawberries at the moment, so I got that. Diced mushrooms. Tomatoes. Grape tomatoes down there. Bananas, as usual. Bananas at Costco are always the best. Our baby pink potatoes. The last couple of bags I've got haven't been sprouting, so that's good. So I made sure I, so I, made sure I checked them properly. And they're such good value. Broccoli, frozen broccoli was back, so I got four bags in each one, so two big bags of broccoli. Just and there wasn't that much, so it's okay. I also got for a change sweet potato chips because Jessica and I just love these so much, and even the boys have started to love them as well. So I got sweet potato chips, and I plan to put them in the air fryer. Himalayan salt crinkle cut crisps you just can't go to Costco without getting these and the organic tortillas I got the I got the organic pasta pack of six for the guys for the ones in my family that aren't gluten-free because they've been eating gluten-free pasta now for so long and I just thought you know it's if I have to cook one lot of pasta because I'm busy, I will, and it will be gluten-free, so it covers Lucas and Jess. But if not, if I can be bothered, and it's convenient, I will cook the non-gluten-free pasta for the rest of the family. Okay, and these, ugh, amazing, we love these. JoJo's Original Gluten-Free Added Protein Bars, chocolate, dark chocolate bars. These are amazing. Those. I also got minis, sodas. Um, why did I get those? I don't know. I think I just felt like them, so I got them. And of course, okay. So what's next? These are favourite coconut wafer thins. I haven't got them for a few weeks, but my husband grabs one after lunch for a, for a snack for a, with his cup of tea or something. So they're just so healthy, and I'd prefer he's grabbing that to anything else, but. Not that we have anything else really in, around, but he likes to grab sort of a handful of them and go off with his cup of tea after lunch. Dark chocolate and coconut wafers, beautiful. I got a Greek yogurt. 
They had these huge tubs of Greek yogurt for only a few more dollars than this one, so that would have been much better value. But I just, I just don't want big things in my fridge that that I'm not going to use that much. And we're trying to reduce our dairy, so yeah, just got that size. That was about five dollars, I think. Uh, what next? Just ham, the usual ham. Then speaking of reducing dairy, shredded cheese, the double pack from. From Costco. This was on special shredded chicken this week. It was the price that I really could could justify it. So I normally buy the chickens and shred them myself, but this is so handy to throw in basically anything: pastas, sandwiches, whatever. So I grabbed that. It was really reasonable. Um, beef mints, the organic beef mints. It's a three, three lots in there. Okay, so sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes before, so sweet potatoes. The broccoli, cut up broccoli was on special, so I got that as well. Baby cucumbers, of course, we go through thousands of these. And the bok choy, we've run out of lettuce completely, so I got some baby cos lettuce hearts. These were on special as well, these sausages, so we always love our sausages, so I grabbed those. This is a new product. I was really interested to see this and I can't wait to try it. Green Acres grass-fed beef meatballs. Most of the meat at Costco in Australia is not grass-fed. So it was really, really great to see these there. And they're gluten-free. So that's just perfect for us. So I can't wait to try these. They're going to be amazing. I just know it. Know it, know it, know it. Okay. I walked past this... 100% organic apple and cinnamon muesli. There's a th three boxes there. It was like $10 reduced to $5 or something for these three boxes or something ridiculous. I can't remember, but it was like, I've got to get that. The saving was amazing. So, yeah, I will be, I'll be interested to try that. Sounds really nice. Diced bacon. My oldest son is getting gets up at 3 a.m. and he tends to, the night before, cook himself up eggs and all sorts of bit of potatoes so he can sort of take have a quick breakfast before he goes off to work so I got him the diced bacon so he can throw it in his eggs and just make it really easy for him to keep cooking for himself two lo two loaves of bread that's the gluten bread this is the gluten free bread water sparkling water we love it avocado oil we've pretty much run out it's a little bit in the bottle Yesterday when I was making Ellie's dog food, I realized we'd run out of turmeric. I prefer to go to the health shop and get the organic uh, turmeric, but I use it so often, I just thought I'd get this one as well. Promised Tom I'd get him cheese pizza for dinner since it's Friday night. And I these coat hangers were on special, $15.99 for 50. Reduced, I think they're reduced $5, they're normally $19.99, so the non-slip coat hangers that everyone has actually told me about. They say, have you, every, every time I buy coat hangers at Kmart, which I do all the time, people say, have you not seen the ones at Costco? They're non-slip, they're amazing. So I got those. I think that's it. Oh, and ch cheese, cheese slices. So I got those as well. So I might freeze, I might freeze those, because I, I really want to reduce our dairy. Okay, so this is the whole and of course I got toilet paper from Costco because of course you have to get toilet paper. So I also got toilet paper, 48 rolls of toilet paper. There's plenty, there's plenty of toilet paper. So um, yeah, so I got toilet paper because we don't really have much at all. The last thing I got was these, oops, these for Ellie. I just, <laughs> playful pirates. I just thought she'd love those. Then we get my pizza in the oven. I've got to make Lucas a gluten-free pizza with the bases I bought last week at Coles. Okay, so I actually stopped off at Audi on the way home to pick up these soups because my husband just loves them as a snack in the afternoon and they're only a dollar twenty-nine each. And he particularly likes this Tom Yum one. Tom Yum one. So I got him those. There's a chicken noodle. So I got him a whole bunch of those. And, and I got some turkey mints because I need some, so I got one lot of that. And these just 
stood out to me. They were Super Saver Special this week, Farmer's Table Pork Cheddar and Onion Sausages. They just sound so great for the boys, gluten free. Don't they sound nice? I have a feeling that we'll be eating those tomorrow for lunch and I'll be going back to get more. One lot of Pink Lady Apples. Some salmon for, it was on special, some salmon for dinner for my husband, myself and Jessica. So we'll have salmon while the boys have, while the boys have pizza. Two pasta sauces just to make sure that I don't run out. I got three lots of the chocolate. We eat through a lot of this chocolate. It's so, if you haven't tried it, please try it. It's so yummy. If you like dark chocolate, but they have um, lighter ones with caramel and things, but it's just such a great, such a great chocolate. And I got one lot of these grains. I don't know why I did that, but I did. So I won't go to waste, but I'm just not sure why, what I was thinking with that. I got some, I got some organic coconut yogurt, vanilla flavored for Lucas. We're, going to, we're trying to get him off dairy at the moment just to see if it helps him. I just thought we'd try him on the coconut yogurt. Now I've got to put it all away. Oh, there was something else. I got Ali some dog liver treats from Audi as well. She loves these treats. And I wanted to train her to be able to bring these to me by name. So I want to be able to say to her, go and get me the parrot and go and get me the pirate and go and get me the monkey and that she brings them back. It might be quite ambitious, but I feel like I can train her to do that. So we'll see. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wouldn't have thought this morning I would be doing this, but so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and please come over and help me put this away. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye.